in the Sorchal uh, proton paper, I start to explore the relationship of the proton to the scale. Um, and the reason was, is that if you look at the scale in 2008, the atom falls on that line, right? And the atom and all the other data that's on that line are mini black holes uh, or large black holes, right? Mini black holes being the Planck scale and then larger black holes like the center of galaxies and so on or stellar black holes and all this. So, so, it, so I started to think of the nuclei of an atom as a mini black hole because I could see that like there was this infinite scaling going on since I was small, uh, since I was a kid, and clearly if there was infinite um, division of the small stuff, then eventually that small stuff would act like a black hole itself, right? Because it had infinity within it. And so, you know, I, I, the Schwarzschild proton is a fancy way of saying the black hole proton. And so I wrote this paper because when I uh, calculated what would happen if we made a proton a little black hole, I got the right answer for very important questions in physics which had to do with the strong force. That is, two mini black hole protons interacting with each other would produce a gravitational force exactly um, uh, of the same strength of the strong force that we observe. So, so, so for me, it was like, OK, this cannot be a coincidence, right? That cannot be a coincidence. And I had a, lots of uh, tomatoes thrown at me for that paper uh, because, you know, and in the paper I, I, I show it and I mention it, is that the, um, you know, the proton with the black hole mass falls nicely for all of the masses in the universe, but the standard proton mass that we measure is completely off the scale. Uh, a solution, <laughs> right? To understand uh, the scale relationship that bounds our universe.